Uh, we're on the road for uh, Super Bowl 58 now, and um, so I do watch football, so I figured I'd do my uh, playoff predictions. So over here, we'll start with the AFC. So we got Bills and Steelers. This one's pretty much just a free giveaway. Bills, uh, I mean, TJ Watts out for the Steelers. Uh, Steelers were barely able to make it in with a 10 and 7 record. You have, and the Bills are 11 and 6, but they had they've won like what five in a row. So I'm gonna give it to them. Pretty easy. Chiefs and Dolphins, probably one of the uh, coldest NFL playoff games or NFL games to ever be played. Gonna be in five degree weather, maybe colder, uh, maybe snow, but. Um, yeah, I mean, the Dolphins, they always play in heat. Chiefs have played in heat before. Or Chiefs have been playing cold weather regularly. And, um, you know, I just feel like anybody that hasn't played for a team that plays in cold weather is going to play well. Um, and if as long as our receivers play fine, then this is an easy win for us. I'm taking the Chiefs. And, yes, the Chiefs are my favorite team. Uh, Browns and Texans. So, we have... So, this one, I'm not really sure because the Texans, ten, and they went from like what they were like three and fourteen last year, and then they finished ten and seven this year, won the division. That is crazy. Uh, and then the Browns, out of nowhere, they're like, what? What did they finish? Like eleven and six, twelve and five, something like that. But Joe Flacco has been on there, man. He's definitely a Hall of Famer. Um, but honestly, I think I'm gonna have to take the Browns because. Like I just I just don't think that uh, the um, Texans will be able to pull it out. CJ Stroud has been playing well, but that Browns team, man, they're looking really solid. And as long as everyone plays well, then it's an easy win. Moving over to the NFC, Packers Cowboys. This is a home game for the Cowboys. Haven't lost a home game this year. I'm taking the Cowboys. They've been on a roll, and yeah, and it's not an away game, so it should be a win. <clears throat> Lions versus Rams. Um, so the Rams, they started out okay, and then they really got going. And that's the thing with the Rams. They sometimes can be questionable, but then they're like the best team in the league for some reason. So, but then you get the Lions who were not, were like what, 3 and 14, 4 and 13, like uh, two years ago. Last year they were 9 and 8. This year they finished 12 and 5, win the division. And uh, as long as their team plays fine, yeah. I mean, I feel like Dan Campbell has a p pretty big part of this team, even though he's the head coach. Um, this one's a tough choice, but um, I think I'm going to take the Rams because I'm not seeing the Lions as like an actual... Like, if they win this uh, first round against the Rams, okay, I can give them credit, and they might actually be Super Bowl contenders. Eagles and Bucks. So Jalen Hurts is actually injured, so that brings a pretty big part in this. Um, you also have Baker Mayfield, who I don't, I haven't really paid attention to him this year, but from what I know of, he likes to throw interceptions. So I, I don't know. This one's gonna be tough. I think if Jalen Hurts plays, which he should, then the Eagles will win. I'm taking the Eagles. Moving back over to the NFC or AFC, uh, Ravens and Browns. So the Ravens, this is so getting the first round by has actually costed them before. Uh, back in the 2019-2020 season, when the Chiefs won Super Bowl 54, uh, the Titans beat them in the divisional round, and they were the one seed. They got the bye um, along with the Chiefs. Then. Uh, so honestly, I don't know. They're, I mean, if the Browns stay like they have been, then yeah, this could be a win for the Browns. But honestly, just because the Browns haven't made it really past the divisional round in so long, I'm taking the Ravens. Just because the Ravens have also been like a super fast team, and I just don't see the Browns even holding up with them. Chiefs and Bills. So. I'm going to be honest here. Although I am a Chiefs fan, I think the Bills have competition. I'm going to be honest. I think I, I'm considering our uh, loss to the Bills this season a win since the refs had to ruin it and call Kadarius Tony offsides. Um, that was literally, that should have been our win. 
uh, but they decided to call it off. And the Bills were also just okay then. They were not doing too well. Uh, but if we if uh, they didn't call offside, the Dolphins would have won the division. And they probably would have been facing the Steelers if the Steelers did end up fit and getting the seven seed still. But um, if our receivers can play well, yeah, I think we can win. This is probably going to be in cold weather again. It will be in Buffalo because the Bills got the two seed. Um, and it'll be Patrick Mullen's first road game in the playoffs. Um, to be honest, though, I think that the Chiefs will start to turn it up in the playoffs and. I don't know about Canarius Tony, but I think everyone else will stop dropping passes because this is when it gets a little bit more serious. So I'm taking the Chiefs. Back over to the NFC, we got Cowboys and Eagles. So Cowboys, they haven't really made it past the divisional round in a good bit. Last year, they got knocked out in the divisional round barely by the 49ers because uh, they had that dumb play that they decided to run on the last play of the game. Um, the Eagles, I mean, like, the Eagles have been, like, they fell off. Like, they were, like, what, 9-1? and one? And then, like, they, they didn't even win, end up winning the division. 9-1 and one to not winning the division. That's ridiculous. And, um, honestly, I'm taking the Cowboys because they just, they've been on a roll this year. They just haven't really lost that many games. It's going to be, once again, a home game this year or for them. And... They just haven't lost, like, any home games this year. Every single loss has been an away game. So, the Cowboys, I'm taking them. Uh, Niners and Rams. So, this is back to the NFC Championship two years ago. Uh, the Niners that year, they were not doing too well because, well, they lost the Super Bowl 54. They didn't make the playoffs on the road to Super Bowl 55, I don't think. So, they had just pretty much gotten back together. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I don't, the Rams have been a good team this year. Niners have been an insane team. They're pretty much unstoppable whenever it comes to making the, or whenever, it, uh, you get my point. It, they're pretty much unstoppable. So I'm taking the Niners. I mean, this is pretty much like what I expect out of this. If the Eagles and Rams somehow winning end up winning this, or the Rams make the NFC Championship game, then I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know. Back over to the AFC Championship game. So, Ravens and Chiefs. This is going to be another road game for Patrick Mahomes. He probably, yeah, he probably won't end up playing a home game after that wild card. Uh, but Ravens and Chiefs. So honestly. I don't think the Ravens will be able to beat us. I don't remember if we faced each other this season. Um, but we probably did since we're both in the NFC. We probably did since we're both in the AFC. Um, no, we didn't. We didn't. Yeah, no, we didn't. So that's interesting. Um, honestly, though, I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think that the Ravens are gonna be able to beat us if our receivers are playing fine. Uh, the Ravens don't have Mark Andrews. Uh, he's like the third best tight end in the league. And you know, I, I just, I, I don't know. This is like Lamar starts to choke in the playoffs, and. If, if that ends up happening, I see if, if Lamar starts to choke in the playoffs, I see them barely winning this game, if not losing, and then not winning this against us because Patrick Mahomes doesn't really choke in the playoffs unless it comes to a season where we just lost the Super Bowl and then we have to make a run to the Super Bowl again. And, yeah, we just get knocked out in the AFC Championship game. But I'm saying the Chiefs. Um, I might be biased, but I don't really think I am. I, I, this, I could see this game going either way, to be honest, if the Ravens play fine. Um, but, you know, we haven't lost to the Bills in the playoffs. We played them, like, what, three times in the past three years? So, wait, no. Last year we played, uh, so we got the bye round, and then we played, I don't remember who we played, the Jaguars, and then we played the Bengals. The year before we played the Bills. The year before we played the Bills. So, yeah, honestly, I don't really see us losing. 
to the Bills, especially since it's a playoff game. And then this game I could see going either way. But yeah. And then the Cowboys and Niners. So the Cowboys have been on a roll, but Niners, man, they've just been unstoppable. And this is not going to be a home game for the Cowboys. So that's going to be a big difference because, once again, every single loss for the Cowboys this year was an away game. And, yeah. So just because it's not a home game, I think I'm going to have to take the Niners just because, like, that team has been on a roll. Now, if Brock Purdy gets injured, I don't know because... If, okay, if both if both Dak and Brock Purdy get injured, I don't see either one of these teams making the NFC Championship game. So yeah, that's just that. Now we got a rematch, Super Bowl Fifty Four. So last time, Niners they were pretty confident coming out of halftime, coming out of the third quarter, and halfway through the fourth quarter, up twenty to ten, and then Patrick Mahomes. <coughs> And then Patrick Mahomes just goes insane. And so does Tyree Kill. So does uh, Travis Kelsey. And then Travis Kelsey made some big plays in that game. So did Damian Williams. He made some big plays. (coughs) And, you know, we got Isaiah Pacheco now. And he's, bro, okay. A lot of people say he's not a top 10 running back in the league, bro. That is underrated right there. He is, like, really good. But honestly, I don't know. I think Patrick Mahomes will be the number one quarter or the first quarterback to go back to back since Tom Brady. I don't know if this is the year though, because our team has not been looking too good this year. And the Niners, so they finished twelve and five. We finished eleven and six. So eleven and six is it doesn't seem that much more worse than twelve and five but in reality if you're losing six games in a year that's actually not that great because that means hold on we lost to the lions they were a good team we lost to no we lost to the bills we lost to i don't know who else we lost to but actually we lost to the broncos we lost to the raiders and then i think i don't remember the other two teams but uh, or in the Eagles, and then I don't remember. Um, now the Niners, though, all their losses, I don't remember. But they they've been looking a pretty solid team here, um, especially since we lost to two horrible teams, and the Niners haven't really like the Niners didn't lose to the Commanders. I feel like we had a chance to lose to the Commanders if we played them. But honestly, um. I don't know. This one's tough. I could see it going either way. But I'm be honest. I don't think the Chiefs are going to go back to back. So I'm going to have to take the Niners here. Um, but honestly, I feel like some games I could see going either way. Just because Jalen Hurts is injured, I could see this one going either way. I could definitely see this one going either way. I could see this one going either way. This one I could see going either way. But, I mean, the cold weather is going to help us. <laughs> This uh, this one I can see going either way. This one I can see going either way. This one maybe. This one I can see going either way. So this is going to be a tough run to the Super Bowl for a lot of teams. My top five picks, though, to win the Super Bowl, Niners, the Chiefs, Ravens, Cowboys, and Eagles. I don't see the Bills winning it, but uh, there's definitely a possible chance. Um... But I, you know, what what just makes me upset is that all the Bills fans are like, "This is our year." This that's what they're they're gonna say after they lose in the playoffs this year if they do end up losing the play in the playoffs. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a different type of video, uh, but I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.